Exclusive, huh? And you still didn't come with a gun and shield. Hmm. What's up, everyone? Thank you for joining us once again on the DSTAR01 channel. I'm your host, Dexter Raffulis, and today we'll be looking at the event exclusive Gundam Universe New Gundam or V Gundam Real Markings Plus version, the RX 93. This is one of my favorite Gundam suits. In fact, you know, it isn't one of, it is my favorite Gundam suit in the Gundam universe and in Gundam in general because I absolutely love Char's Counterattack, the movie. So, before we get into this review, let's go over some formalities. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're always in the know when I post new videos. And last but not least, don't forget to go to www.dstartrader.com and I'll be for awesome action figures. Unfortunately, I will not be selling any of the event exclusives. So, now that we got that out of the way, let me tell you how I feel about this figure. I absolutely love the new Gundam design. This is one of my favorites. One of my favorite Gundam movies is Char's Counter-Attack, and I just love the way this Gundam is and looks and how it functions and everything like that. And I'm glad we have an exclusive of him because I do love the color. My issue is Gundam Universe, even though their figure design and everything like that is fantastic for the price range too. You're looking at $20 to $25. I believe this one was $30 um, because it's an exclusive. I feel like they should have given us a shield and a gun. I mean, even the other Gundams did come with that, and why they, they start taking out these important accessories which defines these Gundams is shocking. Why? Why do they remove them? Why don't they just include them? Are they, did they not design them? Did they just forget about them? Is it really that much of a cost saver? I don't know. But the point is, I just feel like he should have came with more and therefore he would have been a more complete package. But now I'm thinking about just 3D printing his gun and shield and just calling it a day. But anyway, that's how I feel about the figure. I think he's really cool. I love the color. I just wish he came with the accessories like the gun and the shield. Now that we got that over with, now we can go into paint and detail, articulation and scale, and accessories. But first things first, let me just tell you, this is the first Gundam uh, Universe exclusive, and I just love this ooh, super shiny box, and it's holographic and everything like that. I absolutely like it. So let's talk about the paint and detail of this guy. Now, I absolutely love this kind of off gray. And I do have the original here, and we'll look at that in a second. This reminds me a lot of 8th MS Team uh, Gray Gundam, or kind of like an off-white. And that's what I thought when I saw it. I was like, okay, is this a, are they trying to go for an 8th MS Team color? And that's exactly what we get here. It looks just like that. It is an off-white with hints of gray and stuff like that. Also, we do get markings, like this one right here, which is the new Gundam right there, the RX-93V right there. And then we also get the RA right there, we also get the EFSF, which I believe stands for Earth Force or something like that. Someone tell me down in the comments down below. And we also get this logo right here. So we get a lot of new markings and a new color like that. Let me tell you, the markings are actually not in the movie. I don't think, I don't remember these being in the movie. But yeah, it's just there to add a little extra, extra something to it. But more importantly, what you should take away from the paint and detail of this gun, Gundam is the fact that they changed his color from a white, like a bright white, to an off gray. And now we can look at the original. So as you can see, the difference is there. It is significantly different in terms of the color here. Look at the original right here. We're looking at a really, really bright white. And that's kind of how I figured he would look like in the movie. Like if you were to take Gun, the new Gundam out of the movie into real life or put him into a model. Yeah, I kind of imagine that's what the white would look like. And then this one is kind of more like an off-white. Um, I think I get more of a realistic feel from this one than this one. But you know what? I kind of dig both of them in their own respects. I like this one because it's more true to the anime. And I like the this one because it just looks cool. I don't know. I just really like that color. I guess that it, it's more of a, a taste, I guess, or a, it depends on your preference in Gundam color. 
So there you go. That's the differences right there. Just look here. We don't get the logos and stuff like that. Um, it's just a plain Gundam on the on the real on the original one right here. So yeah, and also the fins. Uh, I don't have the fins on the white one, but uh, the fins were also white on the on the original as well. So let's take a quick look at that. Just take a second to look at the differences between these two. Let me let me see if I can get them in the same pose. So there you go. It may look like the white one is taller. I don't think so, is he? Hold on, let me see if I can flat foot him a little bit more. Maybe, huh, I guess we'll find out when we jump into, that's right, articulation and scale. First things first, let's see how tall this new one is. And we got my friend's calipers because I forgot my ruler. <laughs> So we're going to bring this all the way up to the top of the head and then to the bottom of the shoe right here. And he's looking to be 5.974. So the original should be the same. <gasps> Is he shorter? Yo. Yeah, 6.259. And that's with the joints fully in. Let me see if I'm missing something here. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. This is this is weird. I thought this is really weird. No. 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 No way. Let's do that again. Yeah. Okay. One more time. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Even after a re a re uh, uh, measurement. Uh, it's just like 0.2 inches shorter. It's not that much of a difference. Whoa, that's that's interesting. Hmm. Well, there you go. That's how they look like uh, when they compare in scale. Looks like they made the original. Maybe it's just mine. I, I don't know. Wow. The original is taller. Huh. I thought they would be the same size. Well, anyway, uh, let's compare them with other action figures. Here's an event exclusive um, Android 16. And of course, another event exclusive, which is a Super Saiyan 2 Goku. So those are how those two are. And of course, I brought my SH Figure Arts Deadpool with custom Desert Eagles, which we sell at thestartoys.com. And the holsters too. I think we're sold out on the holsters. We'll be making more next week. So that's going to be pretty cool. Anyway, let's talk about articulation. Pretty standard stuff here. Uh, we're looking at the same articulation points as the original. So we have an up and down here at the ankle. We have a double jointed knee with a ball joint right here at the crotch. And of course we have a rotation right here at the, at the waist. I think that's a single one. Yeah, that's a single rotation right there. We have a ball joint at the shoulder right there. And we have a bicep swivel bent at the elbow, ball and peg here at the wrist and one at the neck. And I'm sure let's call this an articulation point too. His fin does move up and down. So we're looking at over 20 points of articulation here. So he's very articulated. So as his foot comes off, let's pop that back in. Let's do superhero landing pose. So he doesn't have a toe joint. And there you go. He just landed. Boom. And then front kick, side kick. Let's see, sure you can. Speaking of sure you can, I'm here at Comic-Con. Street Fighter 6 looks sick. Anyway, so there you go, sure you can right there. And let's get him into a action pose right here. Getting ready to kick Char's butt. Which by the way, the Sasabi is coming out. I can't wait to get that too. It's unfortunate that he doesn't come with a shield. Like, come on. Anyway, there you have it right there. Looking really good. No issues. Looks like this is starting to become an issue here. Maybe I didn't have this problem when I was playing around with him. Yeah, this ball joint seems to be a little bit loose. Let's pop that back in. Yeah, no, let me see. Do I have a problem with the original? Yeah, not so much. Yeah, this one's nice and tight. Huh. Yeah, this one came off a little bit too easy. Looks like I'm just gonna be posing this guy. Anyway, let's talk about accessories, not much. Um, well, besides the fact that he doesn't come with a shielding gun. Here's the fin set, and the fin does come off, a single one, not all of them will come off and shoot stuff, uh, but a single one will come off. And of course you get the beam saber right here. And the effect pieces right here should come off really tight. Hold on, wait, does it? Give me a second. 
Standby. My apologies. I thought the beam does disassemble, but then I was looking at the box. Yeah, you do just get this. My bad. Sorry, guys. And if you're wondering why does this here, because, well, because I pulled it off the original. But anyway, you take this and you put it right here. Or is it the other way? Yeah, it's the other way. And so now you have something that holds the beam saver. And then you can take that off and then here's the fully completed one. Like I said, I apologize for that one. Um, the beam saber does not disassemble. You do get a regular handle. And that's pretty much it right here. Let's fully assemble him and then we could come up with a conclusion of this guy. I do really like it, by the way, if you can't tell already. And uh, yeah, and we, yeah, and you also get an extra hand that holds the saber and he comes default with this closed fist. So let's come up with a conclusion of the exclusive RX-93 new Gundam with the extra markings. Do I love this figure? Yeah, this is fantastic. I love the color, I love everything about it, but you also have to remember I have a bias towards new Gundam. This is my favorite looking Gundam out of the entire um, Gundam series, and I just love it. It's great, I love the movie, love everything about it. Negatives, obviously, no gun, no shield, unfortunately. But yeah, this is a nice little extra thing that they added with the exclusive with all the markings and new color. I'm gonna stand them next to the new one. Also, yeah, I'm confirmed. Mine is shorter, not sure. Anyone at Comic-Con who bought theirs, let me know down in the comments down below and has the original. Is yours also shorter than the original? Let me know. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Do not forget to rate, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're always in the know when I post new videos. And last but not least, you can go to www.dstarpage.com and all the for awesome action figures. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. So, rate, comment, and subscribe right here, right there, right here. Yeah.